Welcome back. This is Danita, your host with the Booty Bands More Than Fitness podcast. And today's topic is the six steps to overcome your adversity. Welcome to the Booty Bands More Than Fitness podcast. Join us because we're making it possible for busy women to sculpt and tone in just 15 minutes a day. It's your time to celebrate you, unleash your empowered self, and step back into your confidence. You can visit our store, bootybands.com, for the best female fitness products out there and subscribe so you get notifications when every episode drops. And so today I'm excited because we got Jason Crew, the other owner and founder of Booty Bands and Barbells. Oh, you're the one that started the podcast with me. So I'm excited to now have you back in. I'm back. Yes. Um, all right. So let's go ahead and dive into it. So what are we getting into today? We're going to go into six steps to overcome trial or struggle. And each of those steps, we're going to tell you how we did it and are doing it with our business and each of those steps, how it affects and is relatable to our customers. So what's going to be fun about this is you're going to ask me the question and each of these six steps, and then I'm going to ask you, okay, how does that relatable to our members? So it's going to be back and forth. I love it. Okay. Let's, let's ping pong. All right. Ready? Tennis match. Let's go. Okay. So the first question is your backstory. What beliefs did you break? The backstory and what belief did we break? So this one is, has to do with being the original booty bands. So we started off as essentially the original booty bands, owned the trademark, and put ourselves out there quite a bit as the original booty bands. And then all of a sudden, we had all these knockoffs and competitors coming out of everywhere. And we, the belief that we had to really break was how do we be more than just bands to create a real fitness brand and create real results in women and in, in our company and our members. So the belief that we had to break was, you know, that was part of the struggle. And the belief that we had to break was that you're more than just bands. Like you, your uniqueness is not defined by just usually just one thing. And you can have to explore what that uniqueness is and kind of go through that pain a little bit to get to a better result. And that's what we did. After these competitors came out and started using our name and using the same colors and doing like everything that we were doing when we first came out as the original booty bands, we were like, man, what do we do? And so that was kind of the belief that I had to learn and figure out how to break. Yeah, absolutely. What was really the result you wanted to get? Yeah. So this is number two, right? Your desires in the external struggle. So the desires was to create real transformations in women and to create a real amazing fitness brand. So that was the desires. And the external struggle part of that was like, there was all these obstacles. There was these competitors in the way. Um, I, had new, I had no idea how to build a company or a brand. and I didn't know what I was doing. I had some pretty good skills, uh, but I needed to acquire new skill sets to be great, to be a great fitness brand. Um, and that's our desire, right? Is to be great, to be a great fitness brand and to create great transformations in our members. Yeah. And I can see that the struggle is just kind of getting washed out with that uniqueness. So number three, what was really the problem that you had hit and stopped you from your journey? There was a couple of them. There's a lot of them, but I'll just talk about one, which is how do we stand out? How do we continue to be unique um, when we've kind of plateaued, which was you know, a lot of other competitors coming in, trying to be just like us and be booty bands and still have that issue. But how do we stand out? How do we be unique? Um, and we are plateauing. So the plateau was, was a big problem. Yeah, I even remember a lot of scams would come out and actually take our videos or even our uh, imagery and just even pretend like they were us or even just make fake accounts. They take our slogan, they take oh, yeah. everything. Yeah. yeah. So that was, uh, that was one of the walls and problems. Mm -hmm. So step number four is what is the new opportunity you discovered? The new opportunity that we discovered was listening to our community and our members. And they told us really what they needed and wanted. And we worked really hard to figure out how to create that. And that was our women design barbell and our women design dumbbells that transformed into the home gym. And did that make you have to uh, acquire new skills? Yeah. So you had to acquire new skills. We had, we started becoming, started being in the steel business, which during <laughs> that time, like, you know, it was before, right before COVID 
prices, commodity prices skyrocketed. So things started getting expensive right when we started to learn how to create a home gym and create barbells and dumbbells. So we had to create a new skill set, tons of new skill sets in creating those. But, you know, that will, overall, that was the opportunity we discovered was pretty quite, quite amazing because it allowed us to get more into our uniqueness, being outside of just bands, which is what we wanted and creating amazing real transformations. And step number five is what was your plan? What were some of your failures that you faced? Plan was to create an amazing women design home gym, amazing barbell, amazing dumbbells, and all the products that come with the home gym. And with that, for women to step in and empower themselves to be their best selves. That was the plan. You know, the failures in that is not only we have to get the messaging down to go, this is this complete home gym is perfect for you to look and feel your best and step into your best and empower yourself and be an example to others and, and feel accomplished. But how do you make that amazing product when you're, you know, not sure how to make a complete home gym? So the failures was as soon as we started, steel prices quadrupled and uh, supply chain issues. And how do you create this barbell get it down to your warehouse and make it locally and just all the challenges of trying to do that, which, you know, we've failed multiple, multiple times in order to get to what we think is an amazing and great women's design home gym. Yeah. I remember some of the growing pains of not even having a warehouse and being in the still business. And then all of a sudden having to get a forklift, drive a forklift, (laughs) learn how to put like a straps on a truck, like having to do all these new skill sets that we had no freaking clue of what to do. Going from, I remember it's like going from the shipping, the lightest possible thing that was like two ounces to all of a booty band band, shipping to like the heaviest thing of like a barbell, that barbell can go up to like 200 pounds, you know, yeah. Like you can really have a beginner or an advanced barbell. So some people were like, I want the advanced. So all of a sudden going from two ounces to almost over 200 pounds, it was, it was ridiculous learning all those, all those pains. One of the hardest things for me was what in, is called cost push inflation. The hardest thing for me was as things got more expensive to not push the extra prices onto our customers. We wanted to stick with one price and not have to increase it as all the other prices, steel prices and rubber and all the things that make the complete home gym, every single price started to increase. And we tried you know, our absolute best and we did an amazing job to not push those extra costs onto the customer. And it took a long, long time, a lot of people and a lot of failures to make sure that that cost push inflation did not happen. So those are uh, some of the failures um, among many, many, many failures, but um, we love that, absolutely love the results. So this goes into number six. What was your end result and what was the transformation? So the transformation was that we did transform into that. We did create amazing products. We did create products that help women empower themselves, step into their best self, sculpt and tone, and create amazing results within themselves. So our end result of being an amazing company allowed them to create amazing results in themselves and their bodies. Awesome. And that's what ended up taking you out of the plateau. I love it. And so as you listen to this story and see how these the six steps you can really apply to your life and kind of see like what you have overcome of your struggles and being able to use this as you're overcoming maybe something that you're going through right now, that as you're taking one step at a time, that soon, I mean, did you know that you were going to create this like in the middle of it? Like it's not until you look back in hindsight that you're now seeing it all, right? Yeah, I mean, we did it together. And obviously it wasn't just me, it was me and you and the whole team, right? But how? ask yourself this as you're listening to this, go, go over something that you accomplished and then go through those six steps and fill in the blank after each of those steps. And then sit, sit back and step back and go, okay, awesome. And like, then ask yourself, what are you struggling with now? And then look back to that story in each of those six steps and how you accomplish it. And anywhere in those six steps or all those six steps will help you through the, what you're currently struggling with right now. I agree. That's a big one. I liked how you went into, you know, just um, wanting to be 
better than just average, like you really wanting to be something special and more unique. Well, I'm really glad we went through the six steps. So let's go into what's to come. So with the company, as you're listening to this, what we're really, really heavily focused on and you don't, you're not going to get this just from the podcast. Come into our community, join the community, Booty Vans and Barbells community, be a member, and you get, to, you get to see what's to come. You get new product drops, community-specific discounts. You get to be a part of some of the workouts and seeing how we're developing the challenges monthly. And so just come into the community. But one of the great things that we're excited about is new protein flavors that are going to come out. We're amazing tasting and highest quality. Yeah, I'm really excited for the chocolate to be coming out next and the secret flavor that you're not telling us yet that's going to be coming out next and you'll only know if you're in the community. Yep. So we're going to release what that flavor is and in your when you're in the community, you get first access to our flavors and product drops. So join the community and you will be able to see what's next. Awesome. Well, thanks for sharing the story today. That was awesome. To Thank hear from you me today. for everyone that is listening. Keep listening, subscribe, and uh, we're here to help you enrich your life and be the best you can be. Awesome. Wrapping up, we hope that this left you with some valuable information that you can help with improving your mind, your body, and your life. Really, we're about helping you step into your best self, and that's why we do these weekly, so that we can hear from you and how it resonated. So go ahead and write us a review, and we will pick weekly giveaways on our unique booty bands to give away. So thank you guys so much for listening. It was awesome having you on. I'm very excited to leave your review. Make sure to hit subscribe so that you can get notified on any future podcasts that come out. And of course, join the community and join the app called Booty Bands and Barbells, where you'll find us in the workouts, the meal plan, and of course, all the fun challenges. I'll see you soon, and I'll see you in the workouts.